Hello tangerines from somewhere in Mexico. And welcome to our second ever 10 minute tangerine travels Tuesdays where we are releasing a shorter video than our regular Saturday videos. Today we are going to be talking about the 11 things that we love most about living in Mexico. Don't get us wrong, it's not all rainbows and sunshine, but after three years of being in this country, these are the things we love the most. The first thing we love about Mexico is the diversity of landscapes and nature in general across the country. Yeah, so of course everyone knows that Mexico has beautiful beaches, but you have everything else. Rainforest, jungle, desert, mountains, snow, like literally everything. And then whatever else you can't think of, it probably has that too. <laughs> it's almost as if you have an entire earth in one country. The next thing we love about Mexico are the street vendors. This is something that I didn't have too much experience with before living and traveling in Mexico, but it is so cool, the variety of things that you can get from street vendors. Some of them are stationary and they sell like their artesanias or food and snacks, and others of them drive around or push their cart around the neighborhoods and then they have their really unique calls so you always know who it is. Honestly, I think that's some of the best part is hearing like the Aguacil or- uh, okay. Go, 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 or Europe compared to where we were living back in Arizona, it's generally about a third of the cost. That does have exceptions, of course, like where we were living in the Riviera Maya, it was about half as expensive or maybe two thirds as expensive. So it does obviously depend on where you are in the country. But as a general rule, most things are a lot less expensive for living expenses and whatnot. Something else we love about living in Mexico is, what do we love? Oh my gosh. Jordan's a little tie tie, so I might take this one from here. We love the history of Mexico. I come from a very young state, Arizona in the US, mm -hmm. so there's not too much history there so it's so cool to come to a country like Mexico that is just exploding with intricate complex history. Yeah you have like these pre-Hispanic cultures, you have ancient ruins, you have old mining towns, colonial cities. And influence from a lot of other places in the world so instead of going to Europe for instance you can go to some of these places like Guadalajara, Mexico City, Merida and you have a lot of influence from like France and Italy and Spain mm -hmm. And, and other countries as well. So you don't have to travel very far and it kind of goes back to the low cost of living. You can get a much cheaper vacation or a much cheaper life while enjoying the beautiful history that Mexico has. And something that goes along with all that complex history is the beautiful, jaw-dropping, stunning architecture. In so many cities throughout Mexico, probably hundreds of them, you find this gorgeous colonial architecture. Many of the cities have a lot of Spanish influence and they're designed around a center square in a grid pattern. The buildings can't be more than a few stories high so every street is just super pretty. Yeah, and it gets more complex the more we learn about it. And I'm starting to appreciate the architecture a lot more as we're learning about like Baroque style and neoclassical and uh, many others that I, I'm still, we're just kind of scratching the surface of it. But it's so cool to see the history like you just you can stare at it you can see the physical example of the history in the cathedrals and the facades of buildings and even the architecture of like mayan ruins for instance and the other indigenous ruins is it indigenous ruins across because they're not all mayan mayan uh, an Aztec, ancient i'd call it ancient, ancient ruins <laughs> Yeah, that's the umbrella. Something we love about living in Mexico is the diversity of cities. You have these small pueblitos, huge metropolises. Sometimes we're in the mood to live in a small beach town. Other times we're in the mood to live in a big city and there's hundreds of colonial cities. So the variety of cities is something we love about living in Mexico. Oh boy, next thing we love, this might be the biggest one on this list. And if you've watched any of our videos before this, you know this one's true. We love the food and drink in Mexico, which is some of the most unique and flavorful and awesome that we have ever had in our entire lives. On the list of drinks, we've got like mezcal, tequila, fresh juices, tejate, oh my gosh, so many drinks. And then for food, some of my favorites are tlayudas, we've got carne en su jugo, and just so much fresh prepared food that for me it's great. A lot of it's made with corn, therefore it's gluten-free, so that's another awesome feature. 
but even like in tacos, you know, Mexico is highly known for its tacos, but the variety of stuff that you can put in a taco and make taste like heaven, holy crap, sign me up. If you'd like to see more videos like this about our life and travels through Mexico, please subscribe to our channel. We didn't know what we were getting ourselves into when it comes to this one before coming to Mexico, but one thing we love about Mexico is that people are very friendly towards foreigners here, both visiting and living. Yeah, to be honest, I was a little bit surprised that this was the case given the political and social turmoil. Um, not to get so into it because we don't like getting into politics, but you know there's the whole like build the wall between the US and Mexico. So for all we knew before traveling, people would be very hostile towards Americans because maybe the Mexicans thought that all of us thought the same or all of us was for a certain political party or like who knows but thank goodness that is not the case we feel incredibly welcomed here mm -hmm. and like i mean literally mexicans welcome us here with open arms and they just want to share their culture and their lifestyle and their food and their country with us they want us to love it as much as they do and also in terms of friendliness towards foreigners their immigration policies it's one of the few countries in the world where we can go to and get 180 days visa free. Yes, there's a lot of countries you can go to and get a visa that allows you to stay in the country for 180 days, but very few that do it visa free. The next thing we love about living in Mexico are the Mexican people. Oh yes, Mexicans are some of the kindest, most welcoming and family oriented and friendly people we've ever met. And to give you an example, when we were first starting to travel in Mexico and first living in Mexico, when we would meet people and become friends with them, I was in complete disbelief at the lengths that our friends would go to help us adapt to daily life or to do favors for us without us even asking them, answering any questions that we ever had. It was like, oh my gosh, like what do they want from us? Because- Yeah, no kidding. They went to <laughs> such great lengths that it was jaw dropping to us. Yeah, it was jarring because friends, people who I would have called friends back in the US wouldn't even do a fraction of those things if I asked. So it was just like, I don't know if you'd call it a culture shock or what, but I couldn't believe that when we first started traveling here. Um, the other thing that I mentioned here was how family oriented and welcoming Mexicans are. It's just not like that in the US that people would literally invite you into their house without knowing you to have dinner with them. Or like, I remember last year uh, for Dia de Muertos, was it last year? Yeah. Um, some families were in a pantheon, they were in a, ce a cemetery celebrating uh, their families that had, their loved ones that had passed and they invited us to take a shot of mezcal with them as part of that celebration. We had no idea who these people were. They had no idea who we were, but they still wanted us to take part in that, um, that part of Dia de Muertos with them. And, and then when we were in Acapulco earlier this year, we knew a family for about an hour and they invited us into their home. It was one of their family members' birthday. It was also your birthday too and they put your name on the birthday cake. Yeah, they, but hours prior, they'd never met me. They had no idea who I was, yet they wrote my name on the birthday cake since it was just my birthday too. It was like, ugh, I'm gonna cry, we gotta stop here. <laughs> now, before we get to number 11 on this list, we gotta let you know that at the very same time we released this video, we also released another video, the 11 things we hate about living in Mexico. So these are at the exact same time, something we've never done on our channel before. So go check that video out after we're done here. But without further ado, number 11. Numero 11, the couture. The couture? The luxury brands in Mexico? The couture. Oh, the culture, that's right. <laughs> um, honestly, the, the biggest reason I think for me personally that we're still living in Mexico is how amazing the culture is and that includes like the style the various styles of dance and music the glorious lovely colorful artesanias which I can never get enough of just like looking at the mall. and the the colors in Mexico in general uh -huh. it's such a colorful country and then totally. food is part of the culture oh, yes the food and drink the holidays and various types of celebrations I love it love it mm -hmm. love it these are our 11 reasons please subscribe to our channel if you want to see other videos that we make about our life and traveling in Mexico. And one more thing before you go. Gong that bell! So you'll be the first to be notified whenever we release a Saturday or two time, two bit bit bit, 10 minute Tuesday video. <laughs> and we will see you there.